Zhang Dong Sun, Zhang Dong Sun, also transliterated as Chong Tung Sun (1886–1973), was a Chinese philosopher, public intellectual, and political figure. Topic <inaudible> Biography. <inaudible> 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 Zhang, Dongsun was born in 1886 in Suzhou District, Jiangsu Province, China. Traveling to Japan as an overseas student in his youth, Zhang studied the epistemology and ethics of Immanuel Kant, and attempted to reinterpret Confucianism along Kantian lines. He took part in famous debates about the relative merits of science and metaphysics, allying himself with the then fashionable metaphysics of Henri Bergson. He was equally well known, as an exponent of the philosophy of Bertrand Russell, whom he accompanied on a tour of China in 1920. A prominent exponent of Chinese liberalism, he became a powerful influence in the China Democratic League in its original incarnation as a non communist, third force, grouping opposed to the dictatorship of the Kuomintang, Kuomintang or KMT under Chiang Kai shek. In addition to the Second World War era, Zhang also taught the students at National Tsinghua University in the 1930s and the 1940s. From 1935 to 1937, Zhang founded and presided the literary and philosophical monthly periodical Wenjie Yueken Wenjie Yukon in Tsinghua campus. Tsinghua Zhang veered towards acceptance of the inevitability of communist victory and took government positions after the establishment of the People's Republic of China in 1949. However his earlier passionate devotion to intellectual freedom and searching critiques of Marxism-Leninism made him an object of suspicion, obliging him to live in obscurity and in constant fear of persecution. During the early years of the PRC, he served in the new government as a member of the Central Governmental Committee, as councillor at the Ministry of Culture and in various other high-level positions, while maintaining his position as Professor of Philosophy at National Tsinghua University. However, in 1951–1952, he provided secret information to the U.S., which was fighting China directly in Korea, therefore losing his position and rights in the government and was expelled by the China Democratic League soon after. At the beginning of the Cultural Revolution, he was hospitalized in the Beijing Railroad Hospital due to his poor health, and was later imprisoned due to his information leak committed nearly 20 years ago. He died in 1973. Work Although Zhang was intellectually silenced after the 1940s, he had been an extraordinarily active writer until that time. Many of his works from that period still survive, testifying to Zhang's importance as one of the most penetrating and innovative Chinese thinkers of the 20th century. His most important philosophical works include Science and Philosophy, Kei Shui Yu Jie Shui Outlook on Life, Ren Sheng Guan Essays on Philosophy, Xin Jie Shui Lun Kong Psychoanalysis, Jing Shen Fen Shi Shui Moral Philosophy, Dao De Jie Shui Philosophy, Jie Shui Modern Ethics, Xian Dai Lun Li Shui Modern Philosophy, Xian Dai Jie Shui Value Philosophy, Jia Ji Jie Shui Epistemology, Ren Shi Lun A New Formulation of Pluralistic Epistemology, Duo Yuan Ren Shi Lun Zhang Shu What is Philosophy, Jie Shui Ju Jing Shi Shen Mi Knowledge and Culture, Ji Shi Yu Wen Hua Thought and Society, Si Shang Yu Shi Wei and Rationality and Democracy, Li Xing Yu Min. Topic: Philosophy. Pluralistic epistemology represents the core of Zhang's philosophical system. It is derived from a revised version of Kantian philosophy. To justify such an epistemology, he proposed a new cosmology, panstructuralism An important assumption of his theory of knowledge is the neo-realistic view that the external world exists independently of our consciousness, and that there is no exact correlation between external phenomena and our comprehension of them. However, the external cause for our sensation is not a substance, but the order or structure of the external world. What is transmitted to us through our sensory impressions is a modification of this external order. Similarly, the discovery of the theory of relativity was important only in terms of recognizing structural laws, and not in terms of recognizing any new essences in nature or the cosmos. Plural epistemology advocates the view that sense impressions are non-being. Therefore, they are without a position in the ontological sense, they do not possess any ontological status. 
All beings exist in a process of constant change that manifests itself in a never-ending modification of structural connections, and the growth and decline of the qualities of the essence of particular entities. According to Zhang, our consciousness can only recognize certain aspects of these manifest changes. However, this refers not only to the level of our perception and comprehension. According to Zhang, the structured order of relations is all that really exists in the cosmos. The relation between the external world and our subjectivity is interactive and correlative. Combining the Buddhist idea of non-substance with a theory of evolution, Zhang held that the structures of the universe, although empty, are in evolution, and new kinds of structure may emerge due to changes in the combination of various structures. His most valuable contributions are also to be found in his endeavors to elaborate the dialectical aspect of Aristotelian logic, to connect logic, language and methods of disputation, and to discover principles and formal elements of the logic of linguistic pragmatism. His investigations of the influence of Chinese language on the development of Chinese philosophy are a very influential and pioneering work. He was the first philosopher who exposed correlative thinking as a main characteristic of Chinese philosophy and analogical argument as a specific Chinese mode of inference. 